Is this the future of arcades in Japan? We're taking a quick look around the arcade at Tokyo Kabukicho Tower in Tokyo in Shinjuku, which opened in 2023. It's quite different to other arcades in Japan. Let's have a look around and tell me what you think in the comments. We're just going in to explore Tokyo Kabukicho Tower, which is a new complex in Shinjuku in Kabukicho. I think it's the largest entertainment complex in Japan, possibly. It's the largest something. It's got a big arcade, we're gonna go and look for it. When you go in, the first thing you come across is a large food court with DJs and a dance floor. There's so much neon lights. I think this is one of those kind of touristy food courts. It looks impressive. I would think it's more about how it looks than the food probably. <laughs> looks like it's called Kabuki Hall. There are 10 outlets with food from all around Japan. I didn't eat here, but it doesn't have great reviews. Lots of people are saying it's a tourist trap, too expensive and not great quality, which doesn't surprise me. The best, most authentic food is usually at plain places that don't look like anything special. Here, it's all about how it looks. There are lots of complaints in the reviews about a seat charge or table charge and being made to pay for advertisers you don't want. You should know it's normal for izakaya in Japan to have a cover charge per person of a few hundred yen that includes a small dish called an otoshi, but that is usually at izakaya, that's bars where you also eat, not at restaurants. It reminds me of the type of Tokyo you might see in a video game like Look at Crazy Tokyo. Oh yeah. I've not seen anywhere genuine like that. <laughs> I mean, it could be fun, but it's, um, I think it's what tourists want to see. It's not authentic. No, no. <laughs> it was built last year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here we are, Namco Tokyo. And this has a lot more neon than most arcades as well. It feels like there's sort of a new generation of arcades that have been built recently. Most arcades and game centres in Japan are a lot plainer with much less styling. Especially in Akihabara, they have a less shiny feel. You don't really see neon lights or decorations like this. What I mean about the new generation of arcades is the Bandai Namco Cross Stores, which are huge places that are part arcade, part shop. There's one in Ikebukuro in Sunshine City, where the world's largest gachapon store is. There are more and more of them opening up. They have a different feel to the smaller, more grungy, old style arcades in Akihabara. What do you think? Is this too corporate with Bandai Namco taking over the market? Or is this better? Is it the evolution of game centers? Gachapon in round formation. How exciting. There's some uh, flat Gachapon. I've seen some of them in the Namco arcades. You get a coaster. This is Gatchapon Odyssey, the only one in the world. Gatchapon machine of the future. Wow. It has a 3D effect screen and a giant wheel like the wheel of a ship. There's some sets to take pictures of your Gatchapon. This one's just like in Kabukicho where we are. What's this? Smart Gatchapon. So you can pay on your card and I think you can just select the um, thing you want. That seems less fun somehow. Yeah, it's a lot less hard. <laughs> like the tactile part of things. We could... Yeah, the mechanical turning the, the wheel. Yeah, they're putting the money in. I mean, you have a lot of these in London. Um, yeah, there's a shop that has them in London. But that's because they cost so much. They could be there, so they put your tail points in. Yeah. We're in a 360 degree vortex of Gatchapon. Light in here kind of makes it hard to see them as well. It does, it's distracting. Yeah. There's a, a lot of neon. <laughs> There's some regular claw machines. The UFO catchers are pretty much the same as at a regular arcade, but the vibe in here is different. It feels more like a nightlife spot. This is a bit like the Bandai Namco cross stores, but darker and with more neon. There's Ichi Benkuji One Piece card games a bit of shop mixed in with arcade and there's a bar you don't normally get that in arcades a lot more of these arcade machines have card readers you can use super cards or payment apps more of the older machines only take coins but a lot of these take cards there's a giant claw machine this is massive oh wow 500 yen you can win a big shark that's bigger than some hotel rooms i think Girl's <laughs> trying to win the Simika Garashi. 
Oh, miss. Oh. Oh. I didn't think that was even going to pick that up. No, I've gone into a big bad miss. <laughs> we'll get one more go. The games are pretty similar to other arcades. A bit of Taiko no Tatsujin is always fun. So here's what's in Tokyo Kabukicho Tower. As well as all this stuff, there's also a theatre and a venue, I believe. Oh yeah, Zep Shinjuku, live venue and nightclub. And there are also two hotels, the Value Star, which is at the top, that's more expensive, and the Hotel Groove. Also in this building, there's the Tokyo Matrix. It says you can experience real dungeons. It looks like it's like a bit like the Crystal Maze or an escape room, something like that. Not a big fan of that food hall up there. It is fun and colourful how it's decorated, but it does seem like it's just for tourists and it's not very authentic. It looks like they've just taken a load of Japan things, things that people think are Tokyo and mashed them all together for Instagram. The arcade's okay. It's not the best arcade there is, but that's all right. There's lots of other ones in Shinjuku. I'd still like to stay in the hotel there. It was above my price range this time, but I'm sure you get a lovely view. So it's not my new favorite arcade. And while the food hall looks fun, it doesn't seem like a great place to eat. Something about the vibe here in the food hall feels very different to other places in Tokyo. Tell me what you think in the comments. Is this the future of arcades or do you prefer the old school style?